Hello, welcome back. I am Tim from Wales, as you well know, and I have been using GoPros and action cameras for quite a few years now. I'm no expert on colour grading or bit rates or anything like that, uh, but I have had plenty of experience in positioning the camera on my body or, um, for getting POV footage, etc. So I'm going to do a quick video today giving you some tips and ideas that you may or may not know um, about how the GoPro for instance should be fitted to your body and also at the end of the video I'm going to give you some quite specific tips on how to position a 360 camera for POV videos. So we'll start talking about the position of the camera. Uh, this is a chest mount and this is a basic original sort of GoPro one I've had for many years and there's loads that you can get from GoPro, um, loads of third parties on the likes of Amazon whatever. Um, my recommendation would be the newest GoPro one which is a sort of square one with a bit of padding just allows it to fit a little bit smoothly on your chest and uh, that padding just means that it fits I guess mould itself to where your sternum and stuff is really so it just sits even it sits even snugger so so first of all so when you put this on your chest what you want to do is do it as tight as you possibly can you'll see I've got these straps all cinched up right to the shortest length that means I can get it as tight as possible now this is quite an old GoPro you can see the um, straps have stretched a little bit in a few places but you want this on as tight as possible almost so you can't breathe that way it's not going to move around at all obviously with the newer cameras now you've got a lot more stabilization in them but that aside what you don't want is this flopping around on your chest while you're riding along so get this done up as tight as you possibly can secondly you'll see I've got this chest mount at my chest height you can position them down here I've seen them positioned down here and I've seen them positioned up here as far as I'm concerned the best place for this is definitely sort of right in your sort of sternum bottom of your chest area right by here um, two reasons uh, closer you are to your chin is, is just a better position which I'll come on to in a second but also if you've got this all the way down here and you happen to have a large man or woman chest there's every chance that they could creep into view if you know what I mean so up as high as you can I'm afraid I can't offer any advice if you are a large chested person but um, said chest mount on the chest definitely the best place for it now important the angle so this is a 360 camera as you can see but this is the this is the lens and typically you see most people they get their GoPro they strap it to the chest and the camera sits there pointing straight out which is the I guess the natural angle that you might think that you need to put the camera and I see people riding with it in this position as well now let's just have a look at what happens when you sit on the bike now let's hope you can see that clearly when you're sat on the bike this camera is pointing forward which seems great and I see a lot of people riding along and they've set the camera up and they think yep I've got the camera pointed in the right place and they head off and they record and then what happens is they drop their saddle they get to the top of the trail and as he tries to steady himself they start riding downhill now the camera is pointing down there and the bit that they've been looking forward to all day ends up being a load of footage of their bars in the top tube as you can see what you really need is this to be pointing straight forward so depending on the type of train you're riding it might be really steep you want this to be pointing even further up so when you're standing you almost want this to be pointing let's say just in front of the, the peak of, a, of your, your helmet for instance that is the angle that the camera should be at so you, when you're in the much talked about attack position camera is pointing forward like this so now wherever you are on the bike it's pointing 
over the bars and ideally sort of bisecting the point between here and your chin that's what you want you want to catch your bars in the bottom half and perhaps your chin in the top half I think that's the best way to get some footage right so I did say I was going to talk about the 360 camera position it's a little bit of a misnomer that the 360 camera will capture everything and a lot of people just stick a 360 on and just assume that it's going to capture everything so therefore it doesn't matter where it's pointed and in many ways it doesn't so as this is as you stood here the camera is pointing forward and with the 360 the field of view is all of this which is great which means you can get away quite a lot with just positioning the camera in this place so this means that even when I get on the bike and I'm in that leant over position this is still capturing everything from up here to down here it's very forgiving however with a 360 camera you do have a blind spot this here is the blind spot so you've heard about the invisible selfie sticks well they're not invisible they're not magic they're not clever in any way basically it's just a selfie stick that sits in this plane here or here because this space between these two lenses between that one and that one this is a blind spot or a stitch point so anything that goes there will potentially end up being a little bit blurred the mistake I see some people making with a 360 camera is actually pointing it upwards too much because then this point here becomes a little bit of a, a dead zone so it's okay when you're riding like this but you've now got a spot here which is going to constantly be a little bit blurred it's going to look a little bit dodgy so if you've got the camera in this position and you're riding downhill suddenly you might find that there's a little area here that looks a little bit dodgy in your footage um, around your bars or something in my opinion you still want to put it in that GoPro position that sort of pointing above your sort of your, your, your to work to your peak sort of thing because then that means when you're in that ride you've still got that full field of view here to capture everything and sometimes with a 360 camera you might like to give a super fish eye view or something and if you've got that blind spot in the way somewhere you can end up with some weird results so you wanted some 360 POV tips that's why I'm here and um, number one is what you need to do is not just have the camera fixed in that um, wide angle mode what you need to do is while you're riding you have the camera move around with you so you can you can add it so that it kind of lags a little bit as you're swooping through some turns or what I find to be really effective is you can get it to turn before you turn and you can have it look at a different point of view so if there's a turning coming up over there you can have the camera point in that direction and then you can turn to join it and it just adds a really nice feel uh, it adds a really nice feel to the footage and um, as you can see here it means that I can actually have the camera turn to see my mate riding on my left and then I can turn to join and join him and join into the track which I think is really cool um, number two is um, you can get the camera to sort of like zoom in to where you are so if you're just about to sort of um, you know, set off down a bit of trail or something you can have the camera start super wide and then zoom in to the point where you're just about to take off and then then have it lock in position and it just kind of looks like the camera's joining you as you go riding rather than the camera being attached to you and I think that's one of the benefits of the 360 is it looks like it's not part of you at times I think it's really clever and my third tip is the thing with GoPros a lot of people say that um, they take the steepness away from stuff so you you can ride over drops and roll-ins and the GoPro doesn't really show it because the GoPro is like pointing forward and then it just drops down as you're with it and always the the bars are in view and it doesn't give you any kind of feel for what's coming up but what I found is you can do is if you're coming up to something quite steep in obviously this is in post editing as you're coming up to something quite steep you can get the camera to pan down and look at where you're going and then you can again you can drop in and join the camera a bit like where I was saying turning into it you can have it so it turns and you can see down that way you get a really good perspective looking over the bars and down a slope to give an idea of how steep it is I think that's really cool and one bonus tip this is a chest mount however you don't need to mount it on your chest with a 360 camera 
you can mount the camera on your side like this. Point it a little bit forward and now what you have is a view of your bars from a slightly skewy angle but you've also got the camera pointing backwards so not only do you get POV from the front you can then select an angle from behind to show somebody following you or to show something that you've just passed on the trail so this little bit awkward in tight twisty bits but on nice big swoopy bits of trail I think this is a really cool angle to use because you can choose between front and back and it's a little better than the sort of on the on the helmet angle if you ask me so um, yeah that's my super top tip got any questions if you like this if you found this useful if you'd like some more detail on any of this if you want me to do some more examples then leave a comment below let me know give me a thumbs up subscribe all those goodies and I will see you in the next video